you might notice inflation on a routine shopping trip or especially when you see a reference to prices in an old book or movie. For example, in the 1960 movie Psycho, a hotel room for one night was priced at just $10. We defined inflation as the growth in the overall level of prices in an economy. When overall prices rise, this affects our budget. It limits how much we can buy with our income. Measuring inflation is a straightforward goal, but requires great care. First, prices don't all move together. Some prices fall even when most others rise. Second, some prices affect consumers more than others. For example, a 10% increase in the cost of housing is significantly more painful than a 10% increase in a price of coffee. Before we arrive at a useful measure of inflation, we have to agree on what prices to monitor and how much weight we'll give to each price. Good evening. Welcome to the Nightly News, where tonight we turn our attention to the Consumer Price Index. The Consumer Price Index is a measure of the price level based on the consumption patterns of a typical consumer. The CPI is essentially the price of a typical basket of goods purchased by a representative consumer in the United States. What's in that basket? In addition to groceries, there is clothing, medical care, education, and many other goods and services. The idea is to include everything a typical consumer buys. This gives us a realistic measure of a typical consumer's cost of living. Each month, the BLS conducts surveys by sending employees into stores in 38 geographical locations to gather and input price information on over 8,000 goods. The BLS estimates prices on everything from apples in PA, electricity in New York, and gasoline in California. In addition to inputting prices, the BLS survey estimates how each good and service affects a typical consumer. Once they do this, they attach a weight to the price of each good in the consumer's basket. For example, the typical consumer spends 41% of his or her budget on housing. Therefore, housing prices receive 41% of the total weight in a typical customer's basket of goods. To illustrate how the CPI works, let's build a price index using just three goods. Imagine that when you go to the movies, you notice that you are spending more for that outing than you did last year. You decide to construct a price index to see exactly how the price increases are affecting your budget. You decide to name your index the EPI, the Entertainment Price Index. For the sake of this example, assume that a typical night at the movie theater includes a movie ticket, two boxes of popcorn, and two soft drinks. This is the basket of three goods included in your EPI. The first four columns show your EPI data for the first year, 2014. The second column shows the quantities of goods in your basket, two popcorn, two soda, one movie ticket and the third column displays the unit prices of each of the goods. The price of popcorn is $4 per box, the sodas are $4 each, and the movie ticket is $8. The fourth column shows how much you pay in total for each good. This is price multiplied by quantity. For example, in 2014, the price of popcorn was $4 per box, so you paid a total of $8 for two boxes of popcorn. Adding all the goods together, we get the total price for your basket of goods in 2014, which was 24. 
This is how much you spent for all the goods in your EPI in 2014. Now let's move to 2015. First note that your consumption pattern hasn't changed. You still buy the same basket of goods, but some of the prices did change in 2015. Popcorn is now priced at $6 per box and the movie ticket costs 10 but note that not all prices change. The cost of Coke remained the same. To see how the new 2015 prices affect your spending, we compute the total cost required to consume the same goods in the same quantities. The last column shows the cost of each component in your basket. The sum is now $30. Using this formula, you can confirm that the EPI for 2014 is 100 and the EPI for 2015 is 125. When the Bureau of Labor Statistics computes the CPI for the United States, it follows the same basic steps that you followed when creating your EPI. Number 1. Define the base basket of goods and services and their appropriate weights. 2. Determine the prices of goods across periods. 3. Convert to the index number for each period. Once the CPI is computed, economists use it to measure the inflation rate. The inflation rate is calculated as the percent change in price level. Using the CPI as the price level, the inflation rate from period 1 to period 2 is period 2 minus period 1 over period 1 times 100. In our entertainment price index example, the EPI rose from 100 to 125 in one year. So the inflation rate for the year was 25%, computed as 125 minus 100 over 100 times 100 equals 25%.